Hello, hello, Jorge, how are you? Good evening, teacher, I am fine. Fine, good, good, nice to see you. Right now you have a different background. Ah, uh, yes, teacher. You always I change like. the background, I like that. <laughs> yes. Very good, I'm just going to wait up like two more minutes for them to come, okay? Get ready with okay. the activity that I gave you. Okay, pero pónganse con la actividad que les dejé. Espero que se acuerden, vean. No, bicha. Ah, no se acuerdan. Ah, no hicieron la tarea. No. Ahorita tienen tiempecito para prepararse. Eh, era lo de ver un video cortito y hacerme una predicción del video que vieron y contarme. Yes, Tisha. Ah, you did it. So you're, yes, you're, you're yes, joking with me. You're pranking. Okay, nice. <laughs> Perfect. Asmin, Luis, welcome back. How are you guys? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Tyler. I know. The same situation? Yeah. Igual. I hope it's going to be better. Okay. I'm praying for that. Thank you. Welcome. Asmin, nice to see you. Welcome back. Good evening, teacher. Nice to see you too. Thank you. <laughs> Sullivan, I know that you cannot talk, okay? So don't worry. I already see your mess. I already saw your message. Meli, welcome back to you. How are you, Meli? Okay, Meli cannot talk, I guess. Guys, perfect. So the three of you that are already here, I want to ask you if did you do your homework. You saw the video and you, gave the you got the prediction? Yeah? Asmin me está haciendo carita de que no, teacher, yo no pude. A mí se me fue la onda. Luis, tampoco creería yo. Sí le hiciste. ¿Sí le hiciste? Yes, teacher. Very good. David, did you do the homework? Okay, I'm just going to wait. Uh, I'm just going to wait for you to get ready, guys. Okay, and the rest of us, the rest of you came to the class. Okay. So, uh, welcome back, guys. Today, it, today would be our, our Friday. However, it's Thursday, unfortunately. Tomorrow, you cannot go to parties because you're going to have classes with me. Okay? En este momento, chicos, les voy a compartir la plataforma porque hoy sí necesito que curamos unos temas. Okay? Eh, vamos a hacer un listening exercise, pero primero les voy a dar eh, la clase del conditional. Y luego nos quedamos con los exercises y nos queda tiempo, si no es para mañana. Okay, because you're going to learn about the conditional. Okay, Meli, it's fine. Thank you. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm going to start with the homework that I gave you for yesterday. Um, so who wants to start? You can you have to tell me which video or movie you saw, uh, what did you saw in the video and those things in the prediction, right? So Jorge, you want to be the first one? Of course, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Um, I watched the movie. The name is the La Guerra del Mañana. Mm -hmm. The history is about the people fight robot and the people. The people pay for the destruction environment. This cows that the children don't bore and the toxic are move to the government to create a dome in inside the dome the the, uh, the air not tox not toxic and the person can live relative normal in the person in the future will be the same problem because they will fight with other person um, for the water of the food and the new monster, in this case with the Pandora, um, the person will use the robotic part. Um, exam example eyes and the arms. Mm, they will see a. Uh, Mutant animal and the new space. The new animal will came to live in a new nature 
the person will fight for a better world. Very good. Thank you. Clap for him, guys. Lo que tenemos que ahorita, aplauso, aplauso. Super bien, Jorge. Buena pronunciación, buena predicción. Muy acertado a lo que me estabas contando. Buena comprehension. So, very good job. I like it. Luis, I want to hear you. Okay. Uh, the movie Play Runner 2049. Mm -hmm. Flashing car appear that are not yet on the market. I thought it is clear that they will be some. Among them, Aska, an electric flying car that can already be reserved and that, according to the company, that develops, develops it, will be available for sale in 2026. Very good, Luis. Thank you. Clap for him, guys. Applausos. Nice, nice. Luis, solo una palabrita. Available. Okay? Available. 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 Very good. Que es como me quería okay. decir disponible, ¿verdad? Exacto. Yes, available. Otherwise, very good pronunciation. I like it because you get it clear, consent, and uh, easily, right? So very good job. I really like it. Good job. Osmin, did you do the homework? No. No, it's okay, you remember the videos that we saw yesterday? ¿Te acuerdas lo que vimos ayer de los videos? Yes, sir. Can you do? Can you tell me a prediction of those videos that we saw? Uh, in the movie The Wally, mm -hmm. uh, the persons in the future, uh, there are many robots. And, mm -hmm. and two pollution. Mm -hmm. And the person uh, can can live can live in the space. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, robots. Uh, no sé cómo se dice, podrán interactuar, uh, robot. Will uh, interact. Will interact with the person. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, will uh, speak. Uh, no sé, como si estuvieran hablando con otra persona. Podrán like, if, like if they are speaking with other people. Yes. Okay. Very good, Asmin. Clap for him. Miren improvisado, niño. Ya ven. O sea, ya ven que cuando ponen atención en clase, ustedes se acuerdan de las cosas. Ya ven. Jorge, dime. Ah, no, Jorge quería aplaudir. I saw, I saw. <laughs> Very good. Rosales, Roberto, Suyapa, welcome back. Mayra, too. Mario, welcome back. We're doing the homework that I gave you yesterday. You did the homework? Yes, teacher. Oh. Okay, Mario, I want to hear you. Okay, I'm going to talk about The Travelers. It's a Netflix series. Mm -hmm. It's about that in the future, the, the Earth is almost dead. And the people in the future, uh, they are living a complicated a complicated situation because mm -hmm. the human, how do you say humanidad, teacher? Humanity? humanity? The humanity is almost ex extinct, extinta, como se diría? Extinguido, extinct? Extinct? extinct. So they start to travel to the past, but not physically. They travel, uh, they send the, how do you say, conciencia? Uh, the conscience. The conscience. They send the conscience uh, to the past. They start to check where the people die. 
in the time, the hour, where, and location, latitude. So if you know all that uh, datos, if Data? you know the detail, if you know all the details, you can come back. You can bring your mind to that person. So if in the future that will that will be true because in the future we can have a the technology to travel your mind into the past, maybe know how, when other people die and you can change many things. So that would be great in some cases. I would like to, to travel mm -hmm. in the past because I want to change uh, some, some cases or some things in my life but nowadays i need to to af to affront all the situations good mario very good job good explanation i really like that you gave me a different points of view so very good class for him guys aplausos ¿Qué más hizo la tarea? Rosales? good i want to hear you let's go Okay, good night. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, the Jackson, the supersonic, really. Um, the Jackson is one of the last shows to see the future in a positive and progressive way. Um, in 1973, the oil crisis and the emergence emer, em, emergency emergency of ecolog, emergency of ecolo, eco, ecological problems will uh, change that vision in the program of the uh, following dec, dec, decade decade. Decada. Uh, 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 decada? Yeah, decade. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Jeffrey, uh, 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 economist, economist uh, Jeffrey A. Choker uh, wrote in 2011 that the Jackson is a uh, distinct, distinct distinguished in science fiction, but the fact uh, that it is a rare attempt in this uh, genre to actually predict the, um, the future. Mm -hmm. In addition to the air cars from the anim uh, animate uh, series, which uh, as of yet, uh, are not visible uh, <laughs> in the real world. Okay. Uh, the Jackson uh, technology has become commonplace. Uh, people in the early 21 centuries uh, communicate via video, video chat, uh, in compare with the uh, Nowadays, uh, uh, we we usually communicate uh, with video chat with um, a, 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 a call uh, una llamada por teléfono a, a call, 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 call yes phone call and um, with uh, flat streams. Uh, we have robots uh, to uh, have taken over many jobs. For example, a little 
robot uh, that that can, can que pueden hacer that can do it uh, the clean house for example clean or the house. other mm -hmm. uh, uh, jobs in mm -hmm. in the office or in in, uh, in houses uh, uh, yes Yes. <laughs> Very good. Clap for him, guys. Hey, applausos, applausos, applausos. I you. like that. I like the explanation a lot. I, I, I saw that you was you were thinking in English. That's the thing that I noticed. That you were trying to tell me the things in English, not yes, translating I, I, them. I, I try. Yeah. So that is something that I really like about you, and I'm very proud of it. So very good job. Very good well, job. You. I really like it. Thank you. Chicos, ¿alguien más que me haya hecho la tarea? ¿Nadie? Okay, guys, perfect. So, uh, actually, that was the homework about because you are practicing speaking, comprehension, reading, and those things, right? So, um, right now, we are going to stop a little bit of the speaking part because I really need to get the contact and the new topic. Uh, do you remember that yesterday I told you that today we were going to see a thing that is called conditionals? Yes. Yeah? So we are going to do it today. Uh, les voy a enseñar un poquito de los condicionales. Por favor, presten la atención al video que les voy a poner. Saben que yo después les voy a dar la explicación. Pero quiero que le presten bastante atención, ¿sí? Porque el condicional es algo que tienen que agarrar súper bien. So. Hi, we're about to study conditional Yes, ¿se escucha? Yes. Sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to Ok, chicos. Bien, voy a pararlo ahí. ¿Qué notamos? ¿Qué, le, qué es la explicación del conditional? ¿Qué le dijeron en el video que es un conditional? ¿Para qué dos cosas se utiliza un conditional? Para hablar en el futuro, Tisha. Uh -huh. Very good. El conditional, chicos, es así como su nombre lo dice. Es un tipo, no de tiempo verbal, le quisiera llamar yo sino que es una estructura gramatical que nosotros utilizamos para hablar de dos cosas, una posibilidad o una consecuencia, ¿ok? For example, eh, cuando nosotros estamos hablando de un condicional, es por ejemplo, el famoso, si haces esto, te va a pasar esto, o esto me podría pasar si, o si esto me pasara, resultaría tal cosa, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿cómo formamos este condicional? A este conditional, chicos, se le llama first conditional. Hay tres, hay cuatro tipos de conditional. Existe el zero, first, second, and third. Ahorita vamos a aprender el first conditional. El first conditional se utiliza con una situación que es posible, que si sí hay una posibilidad, o sea, que si sí es algo realista, 
Y el tiempo gramatical que utilizamos es el simple present y el future. Entonces, ¿cómo se forma? Tenemos dos oraciones. Oración 1, oración 2. Al unirlas, nos forma una predicción, una posibilidad o una consecuencia. La primera oración sería la oración de posibilidad. If you get a high paying job, si vos tenés o, o vos conseguís un trabajo bien pagado y luego la segunda oración viene como consecuencia. You won't have to work as hard. Ya no tendrías que trabajar tanto o ya no tendrás que trabajar tanto. En la segunda, if you don't have to work as hard, you have a lot of more free time. Si no tenés que trabajar tanto, vas a tener mucho más tiempo libre. If you get bored, You may have to look for another job. Si te aburrís, vas a tener que buscar otro trabajo. ¿Ok? Me está dando una posibilidad y en base a esa posibilidad es una consecuencia. ¿Sí? Entonces, en la primera oración vamos a mantener siempre el if, que el if significa el, el sí. ¿Ok? Cuando decimos, si esto me pasara, ese sí que va con la manita así, es el significado del if. Y, y la la posibilidad se va a ir en presente, presente simple. If you love someone, ta, 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 ta. If you run here, ta, 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 ta. If you don't pay attention, ta, 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 ta. Y las consecuencias se va a ir con cualquier tiempo en el futuro, que pueden ser will uh, o may, o si sea, hay una consecuencia. Y siempre va como correlativa, ¿sí? ¿Se entiende esa explicación que les estoy dando ahorita? Yes, yes Perfect. So, ¿Qué sucede, chicos, con este tipo de, de, eh, de oraciones? Se les conoce, uy, perdón, se les conoce como first conditional. El first conditional talks about possibilities in the present or the future. ¿Por qué, teacher, en el presente? Eso estoy hablando de una posibilidad, estoy prediciendo algo, sí. Pero recordemos de que así como me puede salir un trabajo bueno ahorita, me puede salir en 10, 20 años. La predicción que estoy dando ahorita puede ocurrir ya o puede ocurrir en 20 años, ¿sí? Y como son predicciones realistas, entonces pueden pasar. Ese es el uso del first conditional. So, otra característica del first conditional, chicos, es que la estructura es if, una if clause, que lleva el if con el sujeto más el verbo en simple present y el contexto, ¿verdad? Y la main clause es el sujeto más will o may, o may y el verb. Son las dos estructuras que manejamos. Ejemplos. Uh, Roberto, help me reading the examples, please. Sure. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we'll be health healthy. Healthy. Very good. Guys, I want to ask you. These three examples are realistic or are not realistic? Tell me. Yes, teacher is realistic. Why is realistic, guys? The first one. The first Maybe. one. Yeah. You know, that is something that, that if you do it, it's going to happen, right? And the last one, too. If the last one, too. Also, the second one, actually. Porque hoy en día, las personas que hablamos inglés, tratamos de, de agarrar un poquito más como, ya es como una, una necesidad, ¿verdad? Entonces, son posibilidades. ¿Y qué estamos viendo aquí? ¿Cuál sería, en este caso, la if clause y cuál sería la consecuencia? En el primer ejemplo, ¿cuál sería? ¿Cómo me la diferenciaría? If you say money. ¿Esa sería la? The condition. Condition. El condition. El condition, yeah, yeah o la if clause. ¿Y cuál sería la consecuencia? We'll go on a trip. Very good. Súper fácil, ¿verdad, chicos? Yes. 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 Easy. Preguntas, chicos, de esta oración. ¿Preguntas? No? No, okay. So, no. let's work on some examples then. Hagamos ejemplos, ¿sí? Les voy a dar tres minutos para que me preparen ejemplos en su... Eh, ejemplos de predicciones, de cosas realistas de su vida, ¿ok? Que cosas que ustedes saben que si ustedes hicieran, les pasara, ¿ok? For example, in my case, I'm going to give you the examples. Uh, If I if I don't waste a lot of money 
in fast food, I will save like 100 bucks per month. Ok, esa es una posibilidad en mi caso y es una predicción que así pasaría. Si yo no gastara tanto dinero en comida chatarra, yo podría ahorrarme unos 100 dólares al mes. That is a possibility. Another, another one in my case. If I save $100 per month, I will be able to buy a ticket to go to Los Angeles in three, month, in three months. That is another possibility for me. Si yo ahorro $100 dólares al mes, tendría la posibilidad de comprarme un boleto para ir a Los Ángeles en tres meses. Una posibilidad. Another one. If, I don't know. Okay, if I still study and learn new languages, I may or I might get a better job. Si yo sigo preparándome, estudiando y aprendiendo lenguas, yo podría llegar a tener un mejor trabajo. In the future, of course. En el futuro. ¿Se entienden los usos y, y el contexto? Perfect. So, quiero cinco ejemplos por cada uno. ¿Y por qué esa cara, Rosales? What's happening? <laughs> Five examples. Let's go, guys. ¿Ya le tomaron captura a esto? Yes, right? ¿No, no lo necesitan? Chivísimo. Se lo puede quitar. Y le voy a apagar la cámara esos tres segunditos. Sí, chicos, se lo voy a tomar agua porque me estoy ahogando. Okay, guys, ready? ¿Ya están listos con sus ejemplos? No, ¿por qué no? ¿Por qué no? Ya le di casi, casi 20 minutos, le di ya. You know, hoy sí comí, hoy me comí un mango y todo eso es el aguacha que me quedó. Y estoy que me muero porque se acabe la clase y podérmelo comer. Así de un solo, se lo juro. ¿Cómo hace la teacher? Estamos en okay. confianza. I'm dying. Sí, me dan permiso. Me dan permiso, sí. Sí, me dan permiso, chicos. Thank you. Gracias. Yes, teacher. No worry. Ay, tan rico. Tan rica que es la... Ah, el mango. Pero está dulce. Lo siento como dulce. No sé, yo soy... Yo no tengo papilas como muy sensibles a lo ácido. A mí me encanta. Yo a la rayán o a la guayaba ácida le echo hasta limón. Me gusta que hasta se retuerza del limón. Es tan rico. Good guys, who's ready? ¿Quién ya tiene sus cinco ejemplos? ¿Dinora?
No yet, teacher. Okay, keep working, keep working. I know it's a uh, Rosales is mango. That is mango. Oh my gosh, I really want that. Yes. <laughs> Pero ya me comí lo único que puedo comer en la semana de mango, así que siempre me muero de todo todavía. Te lo juro. Ahora les voy a contar todo lo que hacen sus ejemplos. Siempre les cuento lo que hago en el día. Today I had my last, my last evaluation. Today I'm officially free. I'm done with the semester. Uh, today I, got, I had my two last... Uh, well, test exams, los últimos dos parciales, so I'm totally free already. So I went to Multiplaza because I wanted to celebrate, and I'm going to do it like this. Porque mi celebración fue al final terminar comprando los regalos del Día de la Madre y quedarme sin cinco en la cuenta. <laughs> so, uh, I had an emergency, I had to go to work and those things. Y literalmente, o sea, yo pensé que iba a venir súper tranquila y que iba a tener tiempo de revisarles la actividad temprano, las que me mandaron la tarea. But it was impossible, guys. Había tanto, pero tanto tráfico que llegué a hacer la loquera de que a medio camino me tuve que bajar. No llegué a una gasolinera y me sentía mal. Y no logré llegar a una gasolinera. Así que pasé pena en la calle. Yo creo que hasta me tomaron fotos en la calle. Así que si ven una niña en la calle, soy yo. But the thing is that uh, today I was very, very tired of everything. So I fall asleep when I came home. And literally, I woke up five minutes before my other class. Entonces, ando como que así todavía. Y no he ni cenado. Entonces, ahorita que vi el mango, se me acaba de hacer agua a la boca. Porque quiero comer mango, porque eso almorcé. Y ando que me muero, porque no puedo comer más mango. Because it's, uh, me engorda el mango. So, no, no soy feliz. No soy feliz. Va a, Pero, correr, el fin, va a correr el fin de semana unos dos kilómetros y ahí lo ¿Ustedes saben dónde está la Don Bosco de Antiguo Cuscatlán? Yes. You know. Ubican, o si no, era antes, ¿cómo se llamaba? El colegio, antes era un colegio, right? Sí. Ajá, el... Ajá, ese, bueno, era un colegio. So, todos los días que yo voy a la U, yo camino desde ahí hasta la Ceiba, ida y vuelta, y lo camino unas tres veces. So, hago ejercicio relativamente, pero igual engordo con el mango. Y ahorita me acaban de tomar el mango. <laughs> okay, guys, who's ready with examples? I know that you are already ready, right? Okay, Jorge, you're ready. Let's go. I see your face. Okay, teacher. Um, if you park here, you will get a fine. Mm -hmm. If I save enough money this month, I will buy a new laptop. If won the lottery, I will buy a home. If my boss pay me on time, I will be able to pay my debt on time. Bills. I, mm -hmm. I prepare my dinner now. I will eat more later. Very good. Good examples right here. Good. Class for you. I like it. Good. Who else is ready, guys? Luis, ready? Okay. So give me those two. It's fine. Okay. If I if I travel by bus, I will save gas cost. Mm -hmm. uh, second, if save money, I can go see a 2026 World Cup match. Very good. I like that one. Good. Very good. Thank you. Dinar, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Let's go. My example. 
if I do exercise, I will don't have stress. Mm -hmm. Or if I buy a house, I will go, I won't have a rent, a rent, rent house. So you won't have a rent house, very good. Yes. If I don't sleep late, I will go get up early tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last one, if I am preparing my breakfast, I will say more money. Very good, Subdinora. Very good. I like them. Clap for her. Applausos. Applausos. Good. Thank you, Dinora. Very good examples. And very realistic. That's something that I really like about it. Very good. Uh, Osmian, ready? Yes, it's right. Let's go. Yeah. If I speak English, I can travel to another country. Mm -hmm. And second, if I save money, I can buy a better car. Mm -hmm. Better car. If I did more exercise, I will be better physical. Physically. And if I travel to another country, I will buy many souvenirs. Souvenirs, I recuerdo, pero souvenirs. No sé cómo se pronuncia exactamente. ¿Cuál palabra? Souvenirs. Eh, recuerdos. Uh, this is uh, la oración que if I travel to another country I will buy many souvenirs. Ah, uh, souvenirs. Es que pensé que era recuerdos de otros recuerdos. Yes. Por eso me quedé como ah, pero no me pega con la oración. Ah, uh, souvenirs. Souvenirs. Good. Let's go with another one. If if I see too much fun, I will go blind. <laughs> I will go blind. <laughs> yeah, blind. that that is not true, guys. I'm blind. And I'm not in the phone 24 7. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Osmin. Good job. Um, but I want ready. Ya están listo con tus ejemplos. No, todavía no. Okay, te voy a dar más tiempo. Todo vas a ser el último. Mario, are you ready? Or David? Yes, teacher. I want to hear you. Okay. The first one. If I practice if i practice english every day i will get a better fluency mm -hmm. if i start to do exercise for my legs i gonna walk i, I will i will walk better without i don't know how to say muletas let me see muletas muletas no mm. crutches roaches crutches ahorita te lo pongo en el chat okay the other if I change my food or my meals, if I change my my food style, I will get a good a good shape. Mm -hmm. If I if I start to to practice my Speaking, I will get a better fluency. Very good. Thank you, Mario. All of them were good. A class for him. Aplausos, chicos. Solo una cosita, Mario. Cuando me dijiste food style, uh, it's better if you said diet. Okay, la dieta. Si cambias tu dieta. ¿Sí? Diet. 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 Okay, Very teacher. good. Thank you. Who else am missing, guys? I'm still missing. Yeah, teacher. Rosales? Yes. Let's go. Okay. If I practice English every day, I will be better. 
if you don't drink alcohol, your health will be better. Mm -hmm. uh, if I save a lot of money, at the end of the year, I will be able to travel to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. If I don't turn off unnecessary lights at night, I will have to pay a lot of a lot on my bill. Mm -hmm. If I don't exercise, I will get very fat. <laughs> good. Clap for him. I like them. I like them. Very good. Thank you. Who else is sneezing, guys? ¿Qué más falta? Antonio, oh, Roberto, let's go. Okay. Uh, if I don't practice X plus plus code, I will can't develop up. Uh, if I don't wake up early, I will be late in my work. If I watch the last 10 episodes of anime, I will can't finish my obligation. Mm -hmm. If I get another game, I will have money in the next weeks. Very good. Thank you. Class for him. Aplausos. Me gusta, me gustan. The next weeks. The next week. Escúchenlo. Él, él está seguro que ya el dinero aquí va a caer. <laughs> Very good. Okay, guys. Perfect. Anyone else that wants to try or something? Alguien más? ¿Estamos bien? Se entiende el contenido, chicos. Quiero saber cómo se sienten con los conditionals. It's easy, right? You know, you're just trying to make a prediction and you're going to have consequences. Like... If you do this, you're going. This is going to happen yeah. most of the times when your mom tells you. Okay. Si andas descalzo, te va a dar gripe. Vea, ese tipo de consejitos también son los que se aplican acá. También a veces puede pasar de que ustedes tengan situaciones en las cuales van a utilizar este tipo de conditional para darle consejos a la gente, como una advertencia, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, una que yo podría usar, voy a ser abusiva, voy a ser abusiva con Jorge. Jorge, uh, if you don't go out a lot because of your work, you will be a lot of stress in your, you will have a lot of stress in your social life. For example, podría dar eso como un consejo, una advertencia, en base a lo que sea. Or for example, if my students don't, if my students doesn't arrive at time at eight o'clock to my classes they will miss the first part of the classes and they will miss the explanation <laughs> that is an advice that i would give you right or if i say if my students doesn't do the homeworks they will fail my class and they will have to repeat intermedio one <laughs> right <laughs> yeah so those are things that are not like amenazas but are some advices o son advertencias que les sirve de la gente. Ok, también eso les puede suceder. Sí, esos son como algunos ejemplos. Como cuando su mamá le decía esas cositas. O cuando estás con tu novia, ¿verdad? Y le decís, mira. O bueno, con, con los hombres, ¿verdad? Porque yo soy mujer. Mira, yo te recomiendo que si vas al partido de fútbol a la de la noche, no me, volvas, no me llames en la noche cuando regreses. Ok. Or for example, e, uh, okay, it's fine. If you go out with this girl without me, I think that you will lose my girlfriend. You will lose your girlfriend. <laughs> okay? There's a little yeah. examples that might happen actually. Que son, eh, son examples que nosotros podemos utilizar en el, en el diario vivir. O sea, no, bueno, yo sí. <laughs> no sé qué más. <laughs> But you might use it. Por eso es que estoy sola. Bien, yo porque soy loca. So, guys, Así I want to know if you ser. have any... ¿Sí? Así debe ser, Ticha. Así tan... Sí, claro. O sea, no. Uno, uno de los hombres los tiene que tener así. Sí. Ponga respeto. Claro. Of course. El hombre solo tiene que decir chi. Amen. La vida... Miren, para los que están casados y los, o los que tienen novia o algo así o están arrejuntados, ¿sí o no que la vida de ustedes es más fácil cuando solo dicen que sí? No es más fácil su vida cuando dicen que sí y ya. Es que es para evitar dar explicaciones. Solo dicen que sí, vea que sí. Y la, miran, todo es pacífico. Creo que Rosales nos contó que estaba casado, vea. Ok, Rosales, 
Es más fácil decir que sí y vivir tranquilo. Yeah, right. Ya ven, entonces es mi consejo para los que no están con nadie. <laughs> ok, why no, Sullivan? Why not? I'm missing Sullivan because he gives us different points of view, right? Most of the times he gives us like a very good explanation and he always defends the man. So today, because he cannot talk, I'm missing that because I know that he wants to tell me, no, teacher, that is not true. Oh, yeah. Sara Dian Cachi, le va a ayudar. Advice de una. De una Millennial, Generación Z, no, no sé qué soy, chicos. ¿Ustedes qué son? What are you guys? I don't know. I, I would love to be a, a, a Z generation. Espero ser una Generación Z. Porque así me siento bichita. Así me siento niña. Ok, así guys. Todavía estoy bichita, así dicen. Así dicen que todavía estoy niña. Good, guys. Where so, were you, bro? What? When were when were mm -hmm. you born? <laughs> I was born on August the twenty, uh, two thousand two. Oh, yeah, no, I'm <laughs> millennial. From uh, nineteen eighty to twenty 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 thousand three. I'm still millennial. Oh my gosh! Yes. Ay, no, que vieja me sentí. Soy millennial. <laughs> Se me fueron 20 años de vida. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am. Oh, you are. Yeah. But you said until 2003. Yes. But I'm from 2002. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Y no conocí el colón. Yo no conocí el colón, les recuerdo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yo no conocí el colón. Good, guys. Okay. Any question regarding the topic? Or are we good with the topic, with the, use of the, with the use of the conditional, the reason why you use it? Are we good? Yeah? Perfect. So, to the, to tomorrow we are going to do the, um. tomorrow we are going to do the explanation of the platform. We are going to check the platform. However, we are going to get this reading in this moment, okay? Uh, this is, are you in love? What is the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? So we are going to get though, that reading together. And we are going to discuss about the reading. So who wants to read, guys? ¿Quién quiere intentar leer? Me. Vamos por partecitas. Okay. Let's go with Mario. When I say stop, Romeo is, uh, Rosales starts. Okay? Okay. Let's go, Mario. You think you're falling in love you really attract to certain to a certain person but this has happened before and it was just a crush how can you tell if it's real this time here's what our reader say is you're falling Stop. in love thank you rosales If you're falling in love, you find yourself talking to or tele telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. You find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins to interrupt with my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. Stop, Luis. You might suddenly be interesting in things you, you, you said to a boy when a woman asked me to tell her all about football. I know she's falling in love. Say, a TV sport announcer. Stop. Roberto. Uh, okay. okay. So you, if you uh, falling in love, I don't see the... Okay, thank you. But falling in love is one thing and staying in love is another. How can you tell, as tell me passes, that you are still in love? If you're Stop. staying in love, okay. Sinora. Mm, abstain. 
if pass the oh if you say no your relationship will change you might not talk of, talk as as much about the person you are in love with you might not call him or her so often but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life stop but i wanna okay. here you'll find you find that you can be your ship with this person when you fix pay i love you you will probably i afraid to admit sir sir como se dice esta palabra pinche cuál to admit certain 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 it is about about yourself stop thank you jorge finish what teacher you can uh, trust him you can trust him or her to accept it you use are uh, you you are falling in love it's great and it's great staying in love staying in love is even better very good guys very good guys what do you think about this do you think that there is a difference between having a crush or falling in love or being in love with someone do you think that there is a difference that is true that is true okay yes. true when you are falling in love you suddenly start to think and and you start to talking about that person uh, and that is true when someone mentioned uh, any situation you say oh really uh, and you start to talk about your 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 girlfriend or boyfriend my boyfriend do that or my girlfriend do that you start to, to suddenly to, to to talk about that person and you want uh, that all the world knows your girlfriend or your boyfriend yes that is true that is something that happens at the beginning right i think that another thing that happens at the beginning is that it's not that you're not yourself, it's that you are a little bit more afraid of being yourself in a hundred percent way. Like the girl sometimes does it done uh they doesn't want to they don't want to eat a lot on the restaurants because I want to eat like this. Or maybe when you're starting the relationship, juela, si vas a salir con el chico, te arreglas tres horas antes. Y te vas a ir súper maquillada y te vas a ir bonita y ay, que voy a pensar. Y dos años después hasta te ven en piano. Y es like, I don't care. Right? So, what are some things that men do, that the men does when they are falling in love? What are the typical things that a man does when he's falling in love with a girl or with a person? For example, in my case, teacher, I don't like cut my cut my hair. And mm -hmm. I don't like to to shape my bread. Oh, who do you say, barba? Bird? Uh-huh. So, but when, if, if in the future I know a girl, I'm going to try to shape my bread or cut my hair because the girls love, love when a man, uh, I don't know how to say arreglan, and fix the the hair. So mm -hmm. when they cut or they esterilize in this case. And also uh, we start to pay attention with uh, 
the hobbies of the girl. And in some cases, we if you don't like the romantic movies, you start to see a romantic movie because you girl like <laughs> kind of movies. So we start to appreciate others other things that you usual that you usually don't uh, see or you don't made or make. Very good. That is a very good point, guys. Thank you, Mario. Actually, yes, guys. I think that most of the times the people does things, special things for the other ones, and you get out of this comfort zone. Um, I'm going to ask you this. You know, well, I'm going to tell you. The, uh, you know what is the craziest thing that I have ever done because I'm falling in love with someone? You're going to laugh, I guess. I, I like football. I like soccer. However, I don't like it that much. But I started to to learn more because of the person. I, I started to see the, the games, to understand the things, to understand the teams, to understand like what is un fuera de lugar, que es un, un tiro de esquina, que es la diferencia entre eso, porque tiran con las manos y no con los pies. So <laughs> that is something that I did because I was falling in love, you know? Um, other ones, uh, other boys, I think that they try to, nowadays here in my época, what boys do, do is like they see Barbie, they see las películas de la, bar, de la Barbie o de las princesas con las, con las niñas, verdad? So those are the things. What is the craziest thing that you have ever done because you're falling in love? La cosa más loca que han hecho porque se están enamorando. Que usted te han hecho juela, que hice. Pero de cuando se estaban enamorando, o sea, no de cuando ya estaban in love. Jorge, what did you do? I saw your face laughing. What did you do? No, teacher, no lo puedo decir. Pero ya <laughs> no. Me <acordé>. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Fue tan loco lo que hiciste. Eh, sí. <laughs> Le voy a contar. Este... Eh... Por donde ella vivía, pasaba un señor vendiendo cocos y entonces yo le dije que me prestara el parlante para este, cantarle una canción. Bueno, la, no canto muy bien, ¿verdad? Pero la idea era esa. ¡Oh, my God! <ríe> y Good. bueno. Es, Which es song did you saw? ¿Cuál canción cantaste? Y bueno, los que estamos viejitos sabrán, ¿verdad? La canción de Salserín, eh, de Sol a Sol. Sol ah. a Sol, te tengo presente. Lo peor es que yo no entendí qué canción es. Eh, igual se la puedo mandar. Ah, después. mándenla, mándenla. Sí. Good. That was a crazy thing. And you, saw, and you sang in front of everybody in the street. Con los compañeros del, del bachillerato. Eh, fuimos y ellos iban a ser la segunda supuestamente you see right that is some things that you do when you are falling in love pero después de tres años de relación no hubieras hecho eso maybe eh, sí sí, sí. <risa> ya, 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 ya no hubieran dicho que es <risa> <risa> quizás otra y hubiera tomado clases sí Oh, ya ven, una hace de todo por amor, right? Roberto, what is the craziest thing? Is crazier than Jorge's? Uh, me? Yes. I walk uh, 12 kilometers for visit her. So that is pretty good, yeah. Same happened to me before. Uh, he used to walk like, I don't know, like 15 kilometers walking literally. And I, and I also got all the, the sweaters. I, I used to, uh, that is something that I do, you know, when you're falling in love, you don't care about giving the sweaters, I guess. Because here, nowadays, ahora ya en mi época, porque me, me excluyeron de su época, pues en mi época, ahora se acostumbra mucho que los niños dan sweaters. Entonces, juela, yo creo que a los niños se les olvida que, que tienen sweaters y que les han costado dinero, porque no, quédate con mi sweater, y quédate con mi sweater, y quédate con mi sweater. So that is something that they do when they're falling in love. But when they are in love already, they tell you, give me my sweater back because I want it back. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> yeah, those are things that you might do, guys. So uh, that was actually the activity that I got for you. 
I want to know if there is anything regarding the topic, regarding the conversation, or regarding anything that you didn't understand, or any word, any phrase, or if are we good with everything and we understood everything. Yes, are we good? Clear? Asmin, Barahona, Luis, Dinora, Roberto, Mario, David, todos? Perfect. Okay, guys. So, tomorrow, remember, acá los quiero ver a las 8. Mañana no tenemos vacaciones. Mañana no son vacaciones. Mañana aquí los espero a las 8. No me van a decir que, teacher, pero es que mira, casualmente, mañana. No, guys. Yo sé, que, yo sé quiénes trabajan, quiénes no. Yo sé que los viernes ustedes van de parranda. Ahí los veo en los estados de WhatsApp. Ay, que aquí ando tomando café en no sé dónde. Ay, que aquí ando en no sé dónde. ¿Ustedes creen que no me doy cuenta? ¿Mm? Ni cuenta se dan. Mm. Okay, guys, perfect. So that has been all for today. Um, For tomorrow, you don't have homeworks, right? No, you're free. Okay, you're free. Um, And practice, complete the platform, and get ready for tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to be speaking a lot. Entonces, los que no pueden hablar, traten de estar para mañana, porque mañana vamos a una actividad de, de speaking de todo lo de la semana. Okay, con todos los tiempos. So guys, it has been everything. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Send me the song, please, so I can hear it. And have a nice evening, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.